Hey what's going on guys, my name is Quinn and today we're going to be taking a look at another Transformers figure. This time it's the Transformers Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class RC from the Transformers the Movie. We're going to take a look at the... We're going to take a look at also at the packaging to say even this. Yes, it's in poor condition but that's it because why it was discounted to 70%. And I don't really mind about the quality of the box though, I still I still enjoy it. This is my first ever authentic studio series figure and I'm completely fine with it. So yeah, so as you can see the Transformers the movie, it's a Karatomi, Transformers Generation, Transformers Intuition Studio Series 86, RC by Hasbro. We have the side of the packaging, you have RC holding his gun mode and of course Transformers Authentic and Autobot logo. And if you see, look at the back, it just looks nice. You have big screen inspired scale detail and backdrop. And in Battle of Autobot City, with the description says, when the Decepticons launch their attack, RC converts Autobot City, which is what we see in the Transformers the movie. And to the side, we have a nice rendition of RC Series Series 86, and he is, is the Deluxe class. This figure also includes the backdrop, and this is my first ever Transformers backdrop, and I'm really, really happy for it. And I'm really excited to use this more on my photography. As you can see, it has looked as a nice rendition of the Autobot City when the Septicons attacked in the beginning of the movie. It does look nice, and yeah, you can paint RC, put some poses in, and it does look nice, especially if you just reuse it as a stand piece. It does look nice. And no, this is not actually a knockoff figure, this is an authentic figure, an authentic Studio Series figure that I buy. And it was amazing, It was I got this guy on a, on a, on this, on a discount, about 70%, so... Uh, so technically, I bought this for about ten dollars. So I'm gonna show you guys why. Why did I pick this guy? Why did I picked this figure up, and why is it worth it ten dollars or something like that? Yeah. So the first thing that we are going to talk about is the details first. The details on this thing is really nice. As you can see, it is painted and sculpted really nicely on the head. It looks super accurate to the movie that we in 1986. It was released in 1986. To be completely honest, I have watched the figure. I have watched the movie. Uh, way back when and then uh, I stopped halfway through because I wasn't really that interested back then in Transformers now but now that I have already committed to collecting Transformers I have decided to want to I would want I would want to watch the original all the original G1 episodes because that because that's what I grew up with and watch the movies so yeah so to, well, back to the details it's called the realness on the head and the chest looks nice even the Autobot symbol is painted real nicely I like it and the and the detail pieces on the way it looks sculpted real nicely. I wish they have some paint and had some color on the waist, but eh. I mean, that's what you get with typical Hasbro figures. Down to the then to the legs and the thighs, nice kind of lining and everything. But it looks a bit gappy on either side, which is kind of which will annoy some people, but not me. And that's and the feet is super tiny. Even though it's super tiny, you can still hold it up real, real nice. It doesn't really ball. It doesn't have any loose bits whatsoever. Well, except for the chest piece, as you can see, it untaps really too easily. It's because due to the way it transforms, and it untaps super too easily. I mean, it taps, it it snaps in, but it also untaps easily, which would actually hinder when you in posing this figure. I mean, the backpack, of course, is super ugly. Yeah, it is super ugly because this is what you typically get with Studio Series figures with a, with a limited amount of budgets and all that. This figure only comes with one accessory, which is her pistol, which is her pistol over here. Let me just pop that thing out, and as you can see, this. Let's take a look at this thing. It looks nice. It's sculpted really nicely. Have two tabs on this side to put where, to put the pistol and RC's thighs. You can put this one in here and in here. Yeah, it does sculpt it real nicely. The handle itself is look nice, and the trigger looks really good. I think it's accurate to the movie, except with less, except with no paint for this one. I mean, I don't mind with it. I usually, I'm usually annoyed when guns just comes unpainted, but due to the cost and everything like that, I think because the sculpt work is really good, I really don't mind about it. It does look nice with this gum metal gray that they used. Now, how about let's go into get the posability. So first of all, on the head, you get a ball joint on the head. You can look up that far. And look down that one, which is real nice. It has really raised on the head. We got a 180 rotation on the shoulder because it was high behind the back, but you kind of do a full 360, and then you can also move out about that far. We have a bicep swivel, we have a bend at the elbow. It, I think, as a ratchet, as you can see, has some teeth, it has some kind of soft ratchet 
hooking it to it. It's not a ratchet twin, I don't think so. No wrist swivel, and due to the way this one transformed, she has an app crunch, and it does hold her, and it does hold the position, but yeah, it has an app crunch, which is nice, I like it. We have a waist swivel, which is super nice at the, cut, at the bottom cut over there. We have a waist swivel over there. The legs can kick up that far and kick back not a whole lot due to the, with the cable here and you can move to the side. And we have a thigh rotation. I think think it's a thigh, I think it's an above knee rotation. We have a, a wide bend at the knee over there. And the feet can move up that far and move down that far. And also an amazing ankle pivot. So in terms of posability, she is super posable, and I do think this is amazing. For the distance for size comparison here, she is alongside my SS figure Marvel Spider-Man PS4. My previous review, the Byway Earth Shattering, and my Byway Earth Shattering. Although I think this is such an amazing figure for my first ever Transformers Studio Series figure, the authentic one. This is super worth it. I think this is amazing. The posability are nice. I mean, they, okay, they lack, they lack accessories, but I don't think that's a problem for me. So, without any further ado, let's transform this thing into her car mode. So the first thing that you are going to do is you want to go, you want to untap the head, just like so, and then you want to put the, and hold the chest piece and push it upwards so it untaps like so. And you want to push the head down and then pull this section out. And you want to snap these into here. Just push it in. So you can see it should snap in like so. Now to the arms. You want to move this arm right here. You want to bend it. And then you want to wiggle this inside there. So it should be like so. So it should be like so. As you can see. And you should, you should be able to straighten the hand out. As you can see like so. And the, and the tap it shows up like this and then it should do the same thing on the other side and it should do something like that yeah it should look like this like that now let's go back to the chest up here you want to untap that and just pinch join just like so and then you want to rotate the waist 180 degrees now you want to go back to the top so you want to untap both of these as you can see and then you want to flip out these wheels and then flip out this panel oh wait wait you want to flip out this panel first both of them just like so and watch out for this it just comes off too easily let me just plug this thing in first there we go and then you want to flip out this panel too so once you've done that you want to rotate this like so careful for the this piece over here and then you want to you have, you have a peg over here you want to have it into this shoulder part now you want to do this and slowly while also keeping the step underneath this part so you want to do this you might have to do some a little bit of a tell there we go it should look like that nice and flush do the same thing on the other side you want to tap this thing in push that down and Tap them. It should look real, real nice. And finally, you want to go up to the legs. You want to spread this a little bit, and then rotate the knees to, like so. And then you want to the feet. You want to push downwards like so. You want to also play around with the feet. So you need to kind of like rotate it together like so. But what I like to do to make it easier is to put, is take one leg and then just rotate it. Rotate it first, and then you want to tap it into this part over here. And then you want to tap in. You want to play around with the fist. As you can see, this guy uh, is now completely flush. That's what you want to do. And you can take the other legs together with it, and then just tap to this piece over there. You want to do some readjustment and hold the time and everything like that to make sure everything fits properly. And now you can take her pistol like this and tap into that slot over there, like so. And there you have her car mode, and this looks amazing. The pinky pastel on this color is nice. It, it looks dull on camera, that's because my phone camera is absolute, it's like, like absolute trash. But in person, this pink is look real nice. I mean, when you compare it to the box, 
this pink is not as bright as the box says, but it is bright enough in in person. I mean, let's take a look at the details. The, the Autobot insignia over here looks nice. It's sculpted really nicely. The angular of the car is looks super nice. You have some sculpted in detail like the steering wheel and the uh, radio and stuff like that, and the seat also as well. Looks nice. And then the the fins over here it looks like untapped. As you can see, if you push it forward and you pull it, it's untapped really nicely. Careful with that one. So yeah. And then, then as you can see, down to the details and everything is sculpted really nice. And you can see the bottom <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the robot mode. Yeah, it does look nice. And when you look at underneath the front, it is super trash. It is one of the worst ones. But I mean, you're not going to display the, the, the car mode like this, are you? I mean, it's fine. It's completely fine. You can see the head, of course. You can see the feet. You can see the head. But it's not that worse. I mean, it does roll nicely. It doesn't roll on this hard surface. It doesn't roll on this smooth surface, you're rolling on the hard surface. As you can see, it rolls really nicely. And yeah, for a car mode, this looks nice and it rolls really nicely. Even though with too much cable underneath it, it does able to roll nice. Here's the car mode alongside the SS Vigor Spider Man. Here we have alongside Studio Series RC and my Byway Earth Shattering Jet Mode. And here he is alongside my Byway Weapon Master. Wrapping up with the review, I'm just gonna say that if you got this at a discounted price, it is totally worth it. I mean, even if it's not on a discounted price, I think this looks nice. I think this is an amazing figure if you if you want to collect for series before your shelf life is out. I mean, this is I mean I got it for discount, so it is gonna be extra worth it. So yeah, if you guys want to pick it up, go ahead and pick it up if you guys wherever you guys saw it. And yeah, thanks you thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.